Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew from 3DDC, and in this new set of videos that I've decided to call 3D Master 101, I'm going to teach you how you can master the art of 3D modeling and 3D printing in order to become a 3D master. So I'm going to go over basic and advanced modeling techniques. I'll also show you how to create physical objects from those models using 3D printing. So I'll go over the entire workflow of a 3D printer. So hopefully this will make you a 3D master. Let's get started. So for this first episode of 3D Master 101, I'm going to teach you basic modeling techniques. I'm using a program called Onshape, which is a browser-based CAD program, which I really recommend, but this same concept should work with other CAD programs. So for this example, I'm going to create a model of Thor's hammer. I'm just using this as an example, and it's not going to be an exact movie replica. But what I'm going to do is create a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to press R for center rectangle. So I'm going to create a center rectangle. I'm going to make it 60 by 45. I press D to add dimensions to this sketch. So it's worth noting, this is a two-dimensional sketch. There's only two dimensions involved. I'm eventually going to extrude this out to create a three-dimensional object. So that's the hammer shape. Now I'm going to create the handle using a circle. So I'm going to press C for circle. I'm going to make a circle, and I'm going to give it a diameter by pressing D. I'm going to give that diameter of 20. Now, I'm going to call it OK for that sketch, and I'm going to press Shift plus E to extrude. So first off, I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to extrude it by 35 millimeters. This is going to be just the length of the hammer. So I'm going to call that good. Next thing I'm going to do is show that sketch again, and I'm going to extrude just the handle. So I'm going to press Shift E to extrude, and I'm going to extrude it out this way by 100 millimeters. So now you have the basic shape, and we, but we can start adding chamfers to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to go up here to chamfer, and the first thing I'm going to apply a chamfer to is these edges. Okay, I'm just going to give a chamfer of 5 millimeters. The next thing I'm going to apply a chamfer to is this cylinder. I'm going to give it a chamfer of 5 millimeters. And the last thing I'm going to apply a chamfer to is these faces. I'm going to give those a chamfer of 5 millimeters. So now, if I hide the planes and hide the sketches, and I'm going to go ahead and hide the origin, you can see you have a nice replica of Thor's hammer. So in the next 3D Master, we're going to talk about actually making this on a 3D printer. So this covered really basic modeling techniques, and this method of creating a two-dimensional object and extruding it into a three-dimensional object, well, I think that makes you a 3D master. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time.